did it start like uh, let's talk about your journey into the metaverse so i've been uh, always adapt or die kind of a, an entrepreneur i have over 85 companies now in my holdings i started my professional career in the late 90s building the first b2b b2c e-commerce platform for the beauty industry uh, so i developed uh, always learn new technologies taught myself how to code and that kept evolving into uh, being part of whatever the next thing was you know early on i i knew that amazon was going to be a place where everybody went to shop so we became uh, Amazon's top beauty luxe retailer. We moved all of our beauty products onto that platform. We always de design and develop new technologies for our site. Uh, and I just kept building and building and building. Uh, and I've been heavily involved in uh, NFT space, crypto space, digital assets uh, space since the beginning. Uh, but working with those types of mediums in our own companies. So I'm not the one that goes and speculates and buys a bunch of Bitcoin or buys a bunch of other cryptocurrencies. I utilize that mechanism and apply it to our company's products, projects, services, or solutions, and continuously try to build value and attract new audiences uh, into our own holdings. So that's the ecosystem and world that I built. Uh, as it relates to the metaverse, I've been honored to be part of Somnium Space, which has the investment mm -hmm. from Gemini and the Winklevoss twins, has its own uh, cryptocurrency uh, coin, CUBE. Uh, so what's been interesting journey is many, many years ago, building that and being part of that and seeing how amazing the metaverse and Web3 can be and trying to get brands to on board a few years ago was very difficult. And now every brand in the world wants to throw their name into the metaverse and say that they're part of it. Uh, so, you know, my, my suggestion to these companies is always take your time, do it right, bring your brand in correctly, make sure it has real value utility, make sure it really connects with the audience and always loop it back into real life. So if your brand is gonna be doing something in the metaverse or in VR, try to have some sort of real life value where they can go into a store and get some sort of a perk or some sort of a, a reward, or if they go to one of your restaurants or if they're buying coffee or they're buying water, whatever the case may be, always try to loop back that real life value. Uh, and then, you know, we're gonna be part of whatever the next major movement is. Uh, that's just the way that my mind works. And I wanna make sure that we're always participating whatever whatever the trends are and, and that we're creating value for our consumers and our business partners.